Hi, Good Shepherd, John Jar here, and welcome to this Music Minute. Um, after worship a couple weeks ago, somebody asked me after the postlude, John, why are fugues so cool? Which led to a wonderful discussion about how a fugue is put together. I had just played um, the Prelude and Fugue in B flat major by J.S. Bach from the eight little preludes and fugues. You'll see this book is well worn. I've been playing uh, from it since high school, which is at least 20 years ago. Um, anyway, ha, huh, um, why is a fugue so cool? So a fugue is uh, a way of describing a piece of counterpoint. Counterpoint is not like cross stitch. Counterpoint is a musical term meaning point against point. In this fugue, for example, there are four voices. Um, it starts out with a fugue subject that, that goes like this. Now that subject has an answer in another voice. So the answer comes in, that was the soprano voice, here's the alto voice with the answer. The subject comes again in the tenor voice. And then, and so on. And then the answer comes in the bass voice, which I'll play with my feet. And so on. So that's why a fugue is so cool, because you've got all these melodies weaving through and around each other. The prelude is just kind of a uh, f uh, flourishy, um, interesting, flashy um, beginning to the piece. So here it is, the Prelude and Fugue in B-flat major by J.S. Bach from the Eight Little Preludes and Fugues. Okay. 